हरि ओम ना लेट अस सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ ए फोर क्रॉस फोर मैट्रिक्स सो सपोज वी हैव ए फोर क्रॉस फोर मैट्रिक्स एंड वॉट एवर प्रोसेस वी विल अप्लाई दिस इट विल बी एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल अदर टाइप ऑफ मैट्रिक्स सो सपोज वी हैव वन टू थ्री वन टू वन थ्री टू थ्री फोर वन जीरो वन टू थ्री वन वन टू थ्री सो इफ दिस इज ए देन डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए विल बी यू कैन एक्सपैंड फ्रॉम एनी रो और एनी कलम सो लेट एस एक्सपैंड फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट रो दिस सिंबल इज प्लस दिस इज माइनस दिस इज प्लस एंड दिस इज माइनस सो प्लस वन इन टू now if we forget this column and this row we have these quantities so they are determinant so determinant of 1 3 2 4 1 0 2 3 2 2 and we already have discussed how to calculate the determinant of a 3 cross 3 matrix next minus 2 into so if we forget the row con the column containing this two element and row containing that element we have these elements so 2 3 2 3 1 0 1 3 2 then comes plus 3 into forgetting this and this we have 2 1 2 3 4 0 2 3 4 and minus 1 into so forgetting this into this we have 2 1 3 3 4 1 and 1 2 3 by solving this you will get the value of determinant of this matrix this is the general procedure for all other matrices of all other orders all right now keeping this in mind let us proceed to minor and cofactor of a mat of a matrix so our next topic is minor and cofactor this is very important we are going to solve this minors are represented as capital m and cofactor will be represented as c so these are just a number associated with each element of a given matrix so how to do what to do suppose you have a 3 cross 3 square matrix so that means we have nine elements let there be a b c d e f g h i all right so our let us find minor first so minor of a means this element so minor of a is equal to how to find the minor forget the row containing a and the column containing a whatever else is left calculate its determinant so determinant of e f h i so which is equal to as you know e into i minus f into h this is the value of minor of a similarly minor of b similarly minor of b will be so forget the column containing b and the row containing b then find the determinant so determinant of d f g i so this is equal to d i d into i minus f into g similarly minor of c will be forget this and this so determinant will be d into h minus e into g e into g minor of b will be forget this and this so you have b c h i so b i minus c h minor of e will be forgetting the column containing e and row containing e we want to calculate the determinant of leftovers so a into i minus c into j 
c into g minor of f will be similarly for getting this in this a h minus b g minor of g will be for getting this and this b f minus c e minor of h will be a f minus c d minor of i will be a e minus b d all right these values are the minor of all the elements so now if now you will get some value from here from here and if you write all these values as the matrix as a matrix so suppose you replace a by minor of a b by minor of b c with minor of c and so on you will get a matrix and that matrix is the minor matrix of the given matrix all right now let us proceed to cofactor so what is cofactor cofactor is the value of minor of that element along with the sign associated as you know the sign of this element is plus this is minus this is plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so cofactor of a is equal to plus into minus of a plus into minor of a so what what was the minor of a minor of a was leaving this and this ei minus fh so it is plus ei minus fh cofactor of b will be sin into minor of b we have already calculated minor of b previously so just put it here you will get the value of cofactor similarly cofactor of all others so cofactor of any element of a matrix is equal to sin of that element or how did we calculate sin minus 1 power i plus j i and j denote the position of that element into minor of that element all right proceeding in this way you will get the cofactor of all the elements and if you put them in a matrix that is you replace a with cofactor of a b with cofactor of b c with cofactor of c and so on the matrix that you are going to get will be the cofactor matrix of the given matrix okay so let's stop here we will proceed to properties of determinants in the next video thank you